What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, today's video is all about an Instagram clothing brand called Finesse Studios. I would say this brand is quite an up and coming kind of clothing brand, but I've been seeing this all over my Instagram lately. The reason why I'm really intrigued about this brand is because when you go on their website, everything just looks way too good to be true for the price point. As you can see here, a lot of their website includes clothing pieces that is literally just modeled on nobody. The clothing items in the pictures look like they're CGI generated. They don't even look real. And so I thought it would make a really interesting video to actually buy some of these clothing pieces and try it on a real body. So if you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy. Welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. But if you want to see what these unrealistic clothing pieces from Finesse look like on me, then without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, this is how everything has arrived in this bag and I'm literally so here for it. So the first item we're going to be trying out is this one right here and as you can see this is such a gorgeous dress. It's giving designer, it's giving like Chanel vibes. I'm so here for it. It was called the Veil Back Off Shoulder Mini Dress and this was £56. This is how it's turned up. It's in a pretty like thin bag so I have no idea how like good this is going to be, whether the quality is going to be like the pictures. Here we go. Okay. Okay, first item, let's go. All right, it feels very like rigid. That's my first opinion of this item. It's very like just stiff. Do you know what I mean? But to be honest, I don't think that's a bad thing. Obviously it looks very, very creased right now, but this is kind of how the shoulders are supposed to look. It's got this tiny little bow, which is actually a brooch. It's kind of like got a little clip in the back. And then the rest of the dress obviously needs a little bit of work. I mean, it's pretty like, folded up from being packaged and shipped. But as you can see, it does have quite a lot of like structure on its own and it's mainly due to this fabric being quite like thick and rigid. It has got boning inside it as well, which is great. So yeah, to be honest, I mean, it doesn't look like much right now, but I'm sure once I steam it, it's gonna look a whole lot better. All right guys, so here is the first dress and what it looks like on. I have to say, I genuinely feel like a princess in this dress. I don't know why, but I was really expecting it to to not fit anywhere near as nice as it does. I just felt like it was gonna be super unrealistic, but actually it's a really nice dress and I love the fabric it's made out of. It's not exactly the softest fabric to the touch, but it's what gives it that super rigid kind of vibe and it just has so much volume on its own. It doesn't even need any kind of petticoat or anything underneath just because of the fabric. This is genuinely my ideal like New Year's Eve dress. If I was going to a New Year's Eve party, this is exactly what I'd be wearing. I am a little bit disappointed about the bow. Like the bow doesn't really want to sit like this. It kind of like droops a little bit. So that's a little bit sad. Apart from that though, there's really nothing bad about this dress. Actually, there is one more thing. I did find it kind of hard to get into this dress. Like there's a little bulge in the seam right here. When you zip up, it's really hard to get over the bulge. So yeah, the zipper was a little bit stiff, but once I managed to get it done up, it just looks so good. This dress is chef's kiss. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I have to confess, I've bought a lot more clothing for this video, but not all of it has turned up in time, which is a little bit sad. Everything they sent to me was basically sent in like individual bags like this, which is kind of bad. I wish they honestly just sent everything in one bag. So that's just one thing I've observed about the brand that I thought I would mention. Perhaps once the other pieces arrive, I might do a part two if you guys want to see that. But the next two clothing items I have are right here and they are separate, but I kind of thought I would put them in an outfit together. The first item I have is probably the weirdest item that I saw on the website and you guys know me I'm just like a magnet for weird clothing it is this pair of trousers and as you can see they are something else these were called the Jack's olive lace-up pants these were 52 pounds and I mean that is quite pricey for a pair of trousers but they are so unique oh my goodness they smell really bad like really bad, like plastic, you know? Anyways, here are the trousers and they are just so freaking strange. They literally have this lace-up kind of detail 
that goes from the top of like the waistband all the way down the whole leg. It then kind of like flares at the bottom as you can see. It's got a few like little slits. And yeah, I just felt like this pair of trousers just had to be tried out in this video. To go with these very extravagant looking trousers, we are now also trying out this top, which on the website was kind of like paired together as an outfit. So I thought I would just stick with it. And this was the top. It is just a plain little vest. The actual fabric is very nice. It's very stretchy. So I like that. It's girl power and all that. I'm totally here for it. Okay, here is the next outfit and what it looks like on. As you can see, the trousers are just giving. I genuinely have no idea where somebody would actually wear these out to, apart from maybe like a festival, but even then, it's just a lot. These gaps right here, I mean, as you can see, I am wearing nude sort of shorts underneath, so you guys can't literally see my vagina. You would totally like see down the side of my private bits and that is not the look I'm going for that's for sure so yeah with some neutral pair of shorts underneath I do feel like it's quite an interesting look as long as you're not flashing people that's not cool also the top is so cute I really really like the way it fits it's a really nice like stretchy thin fabric I would definitely much rather it didn't say the dump him part like I would totally have loved it without that but let me know what you guys think I actually wish they made this top without the text because it's a really nice top I'm gonna step back so you guys can see the full effect of these trousers and yes I'm wearing them with Uggs don't judge I think on a scale of 1 to 10 I'm gonna give this outfit probably like a five I'm a little bit on the fence about it I like the top but the trousers are still a little bit strange for me okay now moving on to the next outfit we're now gonna be trying out a little cord and it's this one here as you can see it looks very very girly it looks very like fabulous and bougie I feel like it's the kind of outfit that Sharpe Evans from High School Musical would wear so first up the two pieces obviously come separate so the top was 42 pounds and then the micro skirt was 28 pounds let's open Open up the top first. I am so excited by this. It just looked so amazing on the website. Ooh, this is interesting. So the buttons on the front are really interesting. They're kind of like little eyelets that you put the like metal through and then it kind of like locks like that. That's uh, yeah, that's quite interesting. I've not seen a top with a fastening like this before. I can tell already it's gonna be quite tricky to put it on, that's for sure. But anyways, this is how the top is looking. It is so freaking cute. The little like three dimensional flowers made of this organza fabric is everything. I absolutely love the style and shape of this top. It's just gonna be so cute and dainty. I can't wait to try it on. As for the skirt, it's a micro skirt, but I really hope that I'll be able to wear this kind of like high-waisted a little bit because I just hate low-rise skirts. I know it's the trend now and I just, I can't get on board. I'm sorry guys, it's just one of those things. It's not even that badly creased either, so that's quite good. But yeah, the sides are kind of ruched as you can see, which makes it look really cool. And I think these two together will make such an adorable outfit. Let's go try them on. Okay, I'm genuinely obsessed with this. Are you seeing this little little outfit. Is this not giving like K-pop star kind of outfit? I'm in love. Now I just need to find an event to actually wear an extravagant and bougie outfit like this too. It's giving extra. I love it so much. First things first, the corset really does fit like a glove. I'm obsessed with all the details and it just looks so good on. As for the skirt, it was not low rise. It's just really short, but it's still covering me up pretty well. I'm not having any issues with like the height of the skirt or anything. It's covering up my stomach pretty well and it's not low rise. So yeah, this outfit genuinely deserves a 10 out of 10. It is literally made for me. Moving right along, the next item we're gonna be trying out is actually this shirt dress. This was called the Amara Ivory Mini Shirt Dress and it was 42 pounds. I got this in an extra small. This is how it has arrived. Let's take a look at it. Ooh, fabric wise it's really nice. It's kind of like a chiffon type of fabric. It's a little bit see-through as you guys can see but I mean you can always wear some neutral colors underneath it. I really like the sleeves. They're kind of bat wing but not fully. This is what the 
collar is looking like and then it has this really cool like belted almost feature in the waistline I really really love it now this is obviously advertised as a dress but I don't know if it's gonna be long enough I mean you could always wear it with some neutral shorts underneath or something if you're too concerned about the length of it but I have a feeling it's gonna run quite short so let's go try it on and see what it's like all right and here is the white shirt dress and what it looks like on I actually really really like this although it is very sheer I'm really surprised myself that I'm actually saying that about a piece of clothing that's so sheer that I had to put on like nude shorts and a bandeau underneath it this part here was exceptionally sheer like I literally would not be able to wear this out without something underneath so I've just put on like this little bandeau underneath that kind of looks like skin I've also done the same on the underside just because this was so see-through as for the actual style and like cut of the dress it's a really flattering shape I really love this like cinched in kind of band across the waist the sleeves are really nice they're quite loose and relaxed and yeah I just really really love this it's one of those items that's really versatile you could wear this to work or school or whatever really so I think I'm gonna give this one like an 8 out of 10 it probably would have had a 10 out of 10 if it was less sheer okay and moving on to the very last set we're now gonna be trying out this co-ord right here which is called the Branca business set it actually consists of two items it has the skirt and also the sort of like blazer type of vest which I think is really amazing for like a business setting when it's summertime and I had to get it purely for the fact that it's in this gorgeous ivory color which I die for so first up we have the Branca ivory scoop neck vest I got this in an extra small and how much was this individually the vest individually was 42 pounds the set however was like 70 pounds together Ooh, okay quality come through this is so cute look at the little buttons they're amazing are the pockets on this functional no are they just sewn up no they're actually just not there oh that is so sad that would have made this 100% so worth it sometimes they sew up the pockets so you can undo it yourself but no in this case they are just sewn up fully but yeah this is what the vest looks like it's actually made of a really nice like quality fabric again it does need a steam it's quite creased but I love the shape that this has you could totally wear this on its own or you could wear it with like a turtleneck underneath so that's the vest now the skirt let's see if this is well tailored or not okay so that's the skirt it's got a little zipper in the back it's got some pretty nice like darting in the fabric I have a feeling I'm gonna get on with this skirt quite well it's super cute so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and steam both of these items and we can try them on together right the second that I put this on I was like I'm keeping this this is such a cute outfit I love the quality of it but then I noticed something that literally broke this outfit apart from me and I cannot keep this now let me know if you guys have any suggestions for this but what is going on here like it's literally gaping open I mean it's not like I don't have enough room in the chest region it's just doing it all on its own and I can't really fix it like the buttons here and here something's happening to the fabric and it's just not staying put the way it naturally wants to sit I literally have like a gaping hole right there so you can literally see my boob and that's not ideal it just looks really weird the way it's sitting and I mean I have loads of like room in here so I don't really know why it's like gaping open anyway apart from that one little hiccup the rest of the outfit is so freaking adorable I'm so sad it fits so nicely in the waist and the hips the little skirt underneath is just perfect as well like it actually is snatched around the waist all around there's no gaps this is the skirt that has like fitted me the best ever like I think I've never tried on a skirt that fits this good but yeah so this is the outfit let me know what you guys think I think it's a really cute one but I'm just a little bit gutted about this little part here if you guys have any suggestions on what to do about this let me know all right guys so that was everything for today of me trying out all of these pieces from finesse studios let me know in the comments if you guys do want a part two because I have a feeling I have a lot more clothing on the way that didn't make it in time for this video so if you guys want to see that definitely smash that huge thumbs up down below also if there's any other clothing brands that you guys want me to try out in a future video let me know in the comments what kind of clothing brands you want to see next as always thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video I really hope you guys enjoyed this and found it entertaining and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.